morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the pound dollar pair and the recent events stirring the markets. Greg? The last session saw the pound gain 0.3% against the dollar. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair skyrocketed 2.6% in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The oil dollar pair gained 0.2% in the last session, after rising as much as 1.6% during the session. The ROC's negative signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The Aussie dollar pair gained 0.5% in the last session. The ROC is giving a positive signal. Thank you for your insightful trading ideas. Moving on to world headlines. Bitcoin maintains steady above $25,000 after the Swiss National Bank seemed to head off a European banking crisis by agreeing to lend troubled investment bank Credit Suisse about $50 billion, and investors' hopes rose that the US central bank would turn more dovish at its next rate-setting meeting. China and Hong Kong stocks fell, weighed by new energy and oil stocks, as Swiss regulators' unprecedented move to pledge a liquidity lifeline to top lender Credit Suisse stoked fears of a banking crisis. Gold retreated from a safe haven-driven rally, which sent prices to their highest since early February, as traders more sought clarity on the financial sector after Credit Suisse became the latest focal point for fears of a banking crisis. Thank you, and now let's go through today's major economic events. The Eurozone's Harmonized Index of Consumer Prices will be released at 10 hundred hours GMT. The Eurozone's labor cost at 10 hundred hours GMT. The UK's Consumer Inflation Expectations at 0930 GMT. Japan's CFTC JPY NC Net Positions will be released at 1930 GMT. Japan's Tertiary Industry Index at 0430 GMT the U.S. capacity utilization at 1315 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning with the latest news and events from the financial market.